apologies, that was gone out. Um, look, Minister, we have a book here I can handle lift, it's just 800 pages and it's 750, and indeed there's another book of amendments, many of them by the Minister himself. But we're not operating in a silo here. And, and the council, I'm speaking to uh, a group of amendments there, um, 195 to 196, I think. Yeah, we, and, and other ones as well related. We're not operating in a silo, and we're we have a housing crisis. We have a crisis of people immigrating. We have a shortage of nurses, teachers, you name it, construction workers, everything else. Now, if we think we can bring in this new planning bill, we're waiting for rural planning guidelines for 20 years to deal with p people who want to build in the countryside. And they haven't been, they were promised by both Fianna Gael and Fianna Fáil before the last two elections. But the Green Party decided we couldn't have them. So there's people on limbo. I already mentioned tonight the Sean Meehan case, thank you, uh, to, uh, who put his own uh, demount, uh, demountable mob mobile uh, uh, log cabin, and he's been going to jail. So what are we at? So this, these, all these, and all the debates and all the votes, I remember when I joined the council first, and I, I said I wish all the new councillors the best. And indeed, delighted that my own daughter Maureen uh, is re-elected to the county council on a fabulous vote. And we want young people to come into politics, as well as every other career. But if they're going to be, if the powers are going to be taken away from them, their hands tied behind their back, and they're blindfolded. And then we never had, we dealt with the county manager, and we dealt with the county development plans and then the county manager back and forward and you, you, you lost so many games, but there was practical work there. But now we have the office of the planning regulator and we have the, 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 all those uh, layers put in top again. Total and absolute control of people. Total and absolute control of people. And most of these amendments that we've voted and you voted down uh, are, are, are controlling people. As I said, when I built my house, thank God, in 82 or 3, you got planning, and we dug two test holes and filled them with water and did a proper percolation, and they had a septic tank. And, and, uh, and my wife and eight children lived in it, and now just grandchildren come as well, and the septic tank is working perfect. Probably been emptied t eight times. But I've emptied tanks, and I'm in that business, I was in that business. I emptied septic tanks that were constructed by hand, uh, and maybe in, in the 60s. And you couldn't empty, they were so perfectly, and six, 40 years later, they were empty, but they worked perfectly. Now you have all kinds of uh, percolation tests, and I'm all for um, ensuring, and it's always every householder for ensuring that the tank works right, because they're the first person to suffer. But now you've all these kinds of stringent tests, and the new systems with, with, uh, with, um, with the propellers and the edge tests and the electricity, and the power goes out as it did in my uh, home last night for hours, and it goes out for any time, or if the bearings season these, they do and it cost a fortune then to try and run them. So, I mean, all these modern-made things are not half as good at uh, helping the environment as they were. Many of the, of the ghost estates we were left with had some of these big package plants. And I still probably have one in, 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 a, uh, in a hotel tonight, in the Lynn Hotel in Tipperary, where the developers have bought it, the, the crowd had it left, there's 20 residents an hour more, and sewers thrown down the road over the last month, six weeks. Irish water won't touch it, the county council won't touch it, and uh, people living in those kind of conditions. So we're making all these regulations, so we're making it impossible <coughs> to, for Irish people, Nindini Oge, uh, to live and work and, and, and enjoy the island that uh, was fought for our freedom dearly back in, the, in, the, in 1916 and the 20s and 22s. What are they doing? They're voting with their feet, they're immigrating. They can't, like they can't get work within neither. They can't drive because you penalise them for the Greens, especially with carbon tax. And then they, can't, they want to go to build a house on a hope. They can't buy a house in the village because my village, as well as 30 other villages in Tipperary, they, I won't call them plants because they're not plants, they're, they're just septic tanks, big septic tanks, about four or five times, six times the size of an ordinary one, at full capacity, and they can't build in the village. They, they're shoved into the towns, they can't get a house in the towns, they can't afford them. And in my areas, they're competing in the conglomerates or buying up houses as well. So it's all, if you step back and study this, and we can talk here forever, they're just not being allowed. So they're going to Dubai as they believe race. They're going to Australia and Canada and everything else. And when they come back, they went to INTO today. If they come back, then they've graded work over there and their work is respected, the teachers. Come back here, then they won't get those kind of level jobs and they won't be able to get a wage that's sufficient for them to live or get a house or get on the ladder even. So we have a very serious situation, and this huge planning bill here is not going to help that one bit. Won't help any. For the building, it'll make it harder, 
and, and, and more difficult. Now, I don't uh, deny, uh, unlike other people, I say people should have a right to object, yes, but within reason, but you have to have uh, um, opportunity for people to do that. But when we make it so difficult here for people to get planning and live in their house or live in the country, as I said, Sean's cabin, for instance, and the thought of bringing them to jail, putting them to jail and, and demolishing his cabin and sending him to build a pensioner, and he go on, to, to, go on the housing list. We already have 4,000 on the housing list in Clonmel, and that's what he's going to do. So there's no giant up thinking whatsoever. And it's the same with many other areas of this uh, uh, environment laws and indeed uh, all other kinds of laws. And then all of a sudden we can make new legislation, emergency legislation to deal with the Ukrainians and we welcome them and they are welcome. And then we can extend it for two more years. And they can be tonight under huge duress and trauma and stress with, with, um, with security forces from outside the state and the Gardaí assisting them to put in modular homes, 62 just like that. And evicted another man from his country. So just the logic. The, the fellows with the white coats, they should come here very soon and bring us all away because we're making the situation much worse for many more people. And anybody looking in with an objective ID would say, this place is Dandula, and I think it is. Thank you.